In the halls of power, where money and influence meet, one name stands out above the rest, Vladimir Putin. This fascinating man is a boss whose shadowy financial empire defies explanation. Come along on an exciting journey inside the mysterious realm of the richest man on the planet, where power and secrets mix in a captivating display of politics and luxury. Greetings from the mysterious realm of Vladimir Putin. Russia's mysterious and powerful leader, Vladimir Putin, has been a well-known figure on the international scene for many years. Although this controversial leader's political career and management style have received a lot of attention, not much is known about his private life. Even though he is among the most powerful individuals in the world, he keeps a close lid on his private life and keeps it hidden. Vladimir Putin usually starts his day early, around 5.30 a.m. He loves physical health and exercises hard first thing in the morning. Swimming, weightlifting, and martial arts are some of the things he does to keep up his tough and orderly appearance. Putin thinks that mental clarity and leadership depend on physical health. After working out, Putin had a light breakfast to start the day. He likes his black tea, sometimes spiced with honey, from his own bee farm, fresh fruit, and porridge. The Russian president steers clear of processed foods and prioritizes a healthy diet. Putin gives the freshness of his food a lot of weight. His own farm, which is situated in Novo Ogaryovo, not far from Moscow, provides him with a large number of the components for his dishes. The organic fruits, vegetables, and dairy products produced by the farm guarantee the freshness of the president's meals. Putin's daily diet is noteworthy in part because he prefers to use honey from his own beehives. The farm's bee colonies produce the honey, which is prized for its outstanding flavor and purity. He frequently has this locally produced honey with his breakfast, which adds sweetness and health advantages. Putin is also reputed to be a tea connoisseur. He likes to sip black tea, which is made on his farm, and is frequently flavored with a hint of honey. This practice emphasizes his dedication to promoting Russian agricultural products while also enhancing the freshness of his diet. The official duties come next, after the special delicacy. Putin's day usually starts with a succession of briefings from his intelligence services and key advisors. He receives a thorough rundown of both domestic and global affairs, including political developments, economic updates, and security risks from these briefings. Putin's strong desire to remain informed enables him to make judgments that determine Russia's future. It doesn't stop there. Putin spends a significant amount of time going over policy texts. These texts cover a broad spectrum of topics, including foreign policy objectives, social welfare programs, and economic policies. Putin's careful examination of these documents demonstrates his dedication to making sure that decisions are in line with his goals for the future of Russia. He also keeps a regular schedule of meetings with his cabinet colleagues and senior government personnel. These gatherings provide a forum for talking about important policy issues, evaluating the state of ongoing projects, and coming up with answers to urgent problems. Putin is among the most committed presidents when it comes to security issues. He has a personal stake in subjects pertaining to defense and national security. He closely examines Russia's military capabilities, intelligence activities, and counter-terrorism measures. He makes this also a daily habit. Afterward, he proceeds to have a launch. But you should already know that this affluent leader won't eat anyhow. For lunch, Putin loves to keep it light. He typically eats chicken or fish for a nutritious, well-balanced supper. He has abstained from alcohol during working hours and has done so for the entirety of his political career. He usually chooses meals that feature lean proteins. These options give him the critical proteins and nutrition he needs without overloading his digestive system. Putin packs a large amount of veggies with his lunch in addition to his selection of lean proteins. This technique guarantees that he gets a variety of vitamins, minerals, and dietary fiber, all of which are components of a balanced diet. The protein source is enhanced by fresh vegetables, which also add flavor and nutrients. Interestingly, Putin avoids heavy or processed foods when eating lunch. He stays away from highly processed and high-calorie meals, which keeps him from becoming lethargic and sluggish in the middle of the afternoon and enables him to stay focused and productive all afternoon. Putin's stringent abstinence from booze during work hours is arguably the most notable feature of his diet regimen. This method, which emphasizes a straightforward and serious approach to governance, is congruent with his professional demeanor and leadership style. Putin stays sober during the working day so that he is always aware of his surroundings and prepared to handle his official duties. In the afternoons, Putin typically engages in a mix of activities. He might hold press conferences, meet with foreign dignitaries, or travel within Russia for official visits. 
Putin is also known for his love of reading, and he spends time studying various subjects from history and geopolitics to philosophy and literature. He speaks multiple languages, including German and English, which he uses in his interactions with foreign leaders. As the sun dips below the horizon, Vladimir Putin's day takes on a more leisurely and relaxed tone. Evenings provide him with a well-deserved opportunity to unwind and rejuvenate. Putin's approach to leisure is not only an insight into his personal interests, but also a reflection of the wealth and luxuries that surround him. He is an avid outdoorsman, and his choice of recreational activities reflects his affinity for nature and adventure. Hiking, horseback riding, and fishing are among his favorite pastimes. These activities allow him to connect with the natural world, fostering a sense of tranquility and escape from the pressures of political life. Putin spends a large portion of his free time at his estate in Sochi, a gorgeous resort town tucked away on the Black Sea coast. Sochi is an opulent destination that offers opulent lodging and services in addition to stunning natural beauty. Putin has access to upscale, opulent locations that satisfy all of his wants, as seen by his preference for Sochi as his nighttime getaway. Putin's nights in Sochi are anything but typical. His mansion is an opulent house with swimming pools, ornate gardens, and breathtaking views of the Black Sea. In this place, opulence has no limits. Putin's ability to withdraw to an opulent Black Sea villa and partake in his favorite outdoor hobbies highlights his extraordinary wealth and enhanced status. His way of life is very different from the typical citizens, providing an insight into the mind of one of the most powerful leaders in the world, where work and play are perfectly blended together. For Putin, dinner is a family event. Loves home-cooked meals, usually made by his longtime cook, who has developed into a close personal friend of Putin's, seeing to it that the Russian president's nutritional requirements are fulfilled to the highest standard. Behind the scenes, this committed chef painstakingly prepares meals that suit Putin's discriminating palate and health-conscious lifestyle. Putin's cook's identity has remained mostly unknown, reflecting the shroud of secrecy that frequently envelops the private lives of prominent Russians. But it's well known that this chef has forged a close relationship of familiarity and trust with Putin over a long period of time as a reliable member of his inner circle. Putin spends dinner time with his close family members, including his daughters Katerina and Maria, who are typically kept out of the spotlight in order to spend quality time with them. Putin appreciates his family's privacy and keeps the media largely out of their life. As the late evening comes and most people prepare to rest and retire for the night, Vladimir Putin's work ethic remains constant. This time of day is not one of leisure for the Russian president, but rather of unwavering dedication to his position as Russia's head of state. Putin frequently spends his late nights going over significant documents. These documents may cover a broad range of subjects, including economic evaluations, policy recommendations, intelligence assessments, and security briefings. His attention to detail in going over these documents shows how committed he is to remaining up-to-date on both domestic and international affairs. This promise guarantees that he will be ready to make wise choices that could have a big impact. Also, Putin's dedication to duty extends to keeping abreast of the latest global development. He monitors international news and diplomatic events, paying close attention to geopolitical shifts and emerging issues. His global awareness allows him to navigate the intricate web of international relations and make strategic decisions that safeguard Russia's interests on the world stage. Putin's late evening work sessions are emblematic of his disciplined work ethic and dedication to his role as the leader of Russia. His commitment to working late into the night underscores the immense responsibilities that come with his position. It is a reminder that, for him, the president is not just a job, but a vocation that demands his full attention and unwavering dedication. Putin's commitment and the pleasures that are accessible to him are two things that make life easy for him. Putin's stately mansions, which double as his official and personal quarters, are the focal point of his opulent lifestyle. These lavishly furnished homes feature expansive gardens, luxurious furnishings. They are nothing short of magnificent. Among them are his Black Sea estate in Sochi and his Novo Ogaryovo house, which is situated just outside of Moscow. In the unlikely event that the iconic president must travel, his trips are always associated with extravagance. His entourage and lodgings are of the greatest caliber, reflecting the highest standards of comfort and security, whether he is attending international summits or making state visits. He frequently takes special presidential planes and stays in the most most opulent hotels to make sure his travels are as safe and comfortable as possible. Putin's lavish lifestyle is also influenced by his passion for sports and the great outdoors. He is well known for his love of swimming, judo, and horseback riding. These activities are enjoyed in the most upscale environments, making them more than merely diversions. His pastimes are made even more luxurious by his access to luxurious equestrian facilities, excellent trainers, and immaculate natural settings. And just when you thought that was it, you'll find out that there's more to his opulent life 
lifestyle, his inner circle, his reliable advisors and associates frequently benefit from advantages that come with being close to the top. Access to upscale clubs, private events, and affluent social circles are all included in this. Putin's luxury expenditures are more than just personal indulgences. They have a big impact on his reputation and level of influence worldwide. They give off an air of dominance, strength, and control. His opulent lifestyle enhances his allure and charisma on the global scene, in addition to solidifying his position as one of the richest leaders in the world. Now let's explore some of his extravagant things, which only suits a leader. Watch Collection one of the most exquisite watch collections in the political sphere belongs to the President of Russia. These are some of his most well-known items from his time in government, which include expensive watches like A. Lung and Sona, IWC, and Patek Philippe. The Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar is valued about $60,000, a $18,000 Calatrava watch from Patek Philippe, around $15,000 worth of Breguet Marine. It was calculated to yield a $10,000 Blancpain Lehman flyback. Blancpain Lehman Aqua Lung Grande date costs $10,500. The Turbograph, created by German watchmaker Alang and Sona, is the most valuable, valued at $500,000. Car Collection An Aura Senate limousine took the role of the previous Mercedes-Benz S600 Guard Pullman as the official presidential vehicle. The Federal Protective Service's strict requirements are met by the Aura's Senate, which is equipped with a variety of defensive and life-saving measures. Worth an astounding $1.2 million, the Aura's Senate was created by NAMI in Russia as part of the Cortege project. It was unveiled to the public during Vladimir Putin's fourth inauguration in 2018, and that's only one of the 700 or more vehicles he is rumored to own. The Lada Vesta sedan and the Lada Neva 4x4 are two of the Mercedes cars he owns. Furthermore, Putin likes to travel the country in modes other than cars. The Ghost Train is a luxurious train that the Russian president uses to travel across the country. The 22-car train boasts six ostentatious features, such as a fully stocked gym, a Turkish bath steam room, and a spa area with anti-aging gadgets. The train has luxurious sleeping quarters, beautifully furnished dining carriages, and a movie theater for guests to enjoy, bulletproof doors and windows, and life-saving medical equipment. The Russian people are financially responsible for the staggering $74 million cost of building this luxurious train. Flying Palace Putin's personal aircraft, the IL-96-300PU, is astounding in its size alone, with a length of about 65 meters and a wingspan exceeding 65 meters. Putin's private aircraft features an opulent cabin with ornate tapestries and gold accents. The neoclassical style permeates the interior design and furniture. The facilities include a big dining area, a guest lounge, a fully equipped bar, a peaceful relaxation area, several meeting and conference rooms, a small mini gym, and a private office. Do you know how much the estimated worth of the Russian president's collection of private aircraft is? There are reports that he has more of them. One billion dollars is involved. Vladimir Putin's most expensive private plane, an Airbus ACJ319, is another opulent addition to his fleet. Putin primarily takes short excursions with this aircraft, which has room for up to 19 people. The master bedroom on the Airbus jet features a king-size bed that exudes every conceivable grandeur. The aircraft's features, which include video conferencing and streaming services, satisfy modern communication needs. Real Estate Portfolio Putin owns the amazing $1 billion mansion that is his palace. This massive palace is near the seashore resort of Gelenjik. This magnificent house was designed by Italian architect Lanfranco Tirillo, who was well known in Russia for building mansions for the wealthy. The palace complex consists of multiple buildings, one of which is a spacious home covering 17,700 square meters, a chapel, an amphitheater, an arboretum, an ice palace, a greenhouse with a helipad, and a distinctive tea house that serves as a guest house are all part of the complex. An underground tube that runs through the mountain contains a tasting room. The main building houses a number of amenities, such as a swimming pool, saunas, Turkish baths, and an aqua discotheque. Additional facilities include a movie theater, reading room, music club, hookah bar, and warehouse. There are additional shops selling vegetables, seafood, meat, and confectionery. Mr. Putin likes to use both his principal estate, Novo Garievo, and his vacation residence, Bokharov Ruche, in Sochi. It is claimed to be the only government dacha on the Black Sea. Outside his main residence, Putin has other properties throughout Russia. Bokharov Ruche is among the most well-known in Sochi. The Moscow Kremlin has long served as the principal residence for Russian leaders. Nine Australia claims that it is a historically significant building that was constructed between between 1776 and 1787 on Catherine the Great's orders. Putin's office is located in the north wing of the Kremlin Senate and is rectangular in design, unlike the Oval Office in the US. 
Since 2000, Vladimir Putin has been the president of Russia and resides there officially. This is the location of formal events. Shining decorations on its facade give this stately building an amazing aspect. Because of its grandeur and historical significance, the structure is highly iconic and symbolic, situated at the heart of Russia's political and cultural legacy. And there you have it. I hope you liked today's video about the Enigma Vladimir Putin lifestyle. Please like and subscribe to get more amazing content. Thank you for watching till the end. Thank you for watching till the end.